Hello again, seventh grade. Today we are on lesson five, where we are going to look at the same um, article that you guys read last class, but this time we're just going to look at it through a different lens. So today we're going to identify the main claim, points, evidence, and reasoning in the article conflicting ideas. You'll also get to discuss your own evaluation of this argument. Before we do that, you've got an entrance ticket for today. So you need to match up the definitions for each of those words with the definitions that are listed at the top. So I'm going to ask that you go ahead and pause the video and work through this. And I'm going to ask that your teacher go over this once you guys have finished. So go ahead and pause the video, begin to work through this and come back to me when you're finished. All right, guys. So our learning target for today, we have two. The first one says, I can identify the main claim, points, evidence, and reasoning in a text. The second one says, I can acknowledge new information expressed by others and, when warranted, modify my own ideas. So, if you've not already done so, I want you to add all six of these new vocabulary words to your vocab logs. So, we have epidemiology and rigorous. Go ahead and pause the video and add these two now. Next, we have contagion and piggybacking. Go ahead and pause the video and add these two now. And our last two, analogy and behemoth. Go ahead and pause the video and add these two now. Okay, guys, before we can jump into the assignment and the work today, we've got to go back to this article, Conflicting Ideas, and we need to read it again. So I'm going to ask, however your teacher wants to do that, that you go ahead and pause the video here and you guys read as a class and then come back to me and we'll kind of talk about um, the gist of each of the paragraphs and then we'll move forward into our work. All right, guys. So paragraph one was the gist of that was like some think ideas spread like the flu. Paragraph two, it's OK to use that comparison if it works. Paragraph three was the study, the Facebook sign up. Paragraph three, theory, more friends on Facebook, more likely to sign up. Paragraph five, results, more groups on Facebook, more likely to sign up. Paragraph six, epidemiology model does not work for social contagion, okay? I've got a couple questions that I would want you guys to think, pair, share, and then share out and answer as a class. What habits of character did you see in this excerpt? Who demonstrated them? And what did they look like? And what did they sound like? Go ahead and pause the video, talk through this with your think partner, share out as a class, and then come back to me when you're ready to move on. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the note catcher for today. So this one is going to look a little bit different than the one from the last class. This one is called Argument, Conflicting Ideas, Note Catcher. So you'll see your directions at the top. Let's read through them together. In the boxes below, record the main claim the author makes in the article, the points into which that claim is broken down, and the evidence and reasoning the author uses to support those points. If a point has multiple pieces of supporting evidence and reasoning, Record them all in the boxes below the point. Then evaluate whether the evidence is relevant and sufficient and the reasoning is sound and underline yes or no in the right-hand column. Then you guys have got some um, prompts that you need to answer. So you guys have a lot of work to get through pages 93 through 96. Again, these pages might not be the same in your workbook, but that's okay. Please find them. That title should be still the same, Argument, Conflicting Ideas, Note Catcher. I'm going to ask that you pause the video and you begin to work through this now, whether it's with a partner or independently, whatever your teacher chooses or sees fit. Your teacher will be monitoring you and helping answer some questions. And then we'll come back together before we move forward to our next thing. So go ahead and pause the video and begin your work now. Okay, guys, so I trust at this point that your teacher has gone through this with you. You guys have had some good conversation. And now we're going to go into our last piece of today. So we're going to evaluate the argument by having a bit of some discussion as a class. Now, this calls for a small group discussion, but your teacher can certainly change this up however he or she sees fit. How does the article Conflicting Ideas argue that social epidemics compare to disease epidemics? Is the author's evidence sufficient? Is the reasoning sound? So I'm going to leave this screen here and I'm going to ask that you pause and that you guys go ahead and have some discussion around these two questions. And then I've got a few more questions before I close out today. Come back to me when you're ready to move forward. 
All right, guys. So after having that discussion, I want you guys to kind of rate yourselves. What worked well with your discussion? How did you build upon one another's ideas? Did anyone change their ideas as a result of new information presented? Were all voices heard? And what might you do differently next time? So this is a reflection piece that I'm going to ask that your teacher lead and that you guys be honest and open and answer these questions. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I'll see you guys with another video and another lesson very soon.